is my energy conservation project, the fuel that runs the world. By Jeremy Strong. This is a project overview of what I was looking at. And this project takes a look at the fuel consumption of a 2004 Honda Civic and a 2003 Chevy Tracker uh, during one week. So I can determine how changes in mine and my wife's lifestyles can reduce our fuel consumption. And if I can figure out a way to reduce our fuel consumption, not only will our cost of transportation go down, but so will our contributions to greenhouse gases and the depletion of a natural resource. So the questions that I asked for this assignment uh, was, how many miles are my wife and I driving a week? Uh, how much fuel do my wife and I use a week? Uh, how do we compare to the national average? And can we use less? Which is kind of a rhetorical question because you can always use less unless you're using none. Uh, here's how I went about finding this out. Uh, first, I needed to find out what is the miles per gallon of each vehicle. And I know that the Honda is a 125 horsepower four-cylinder engine, and the Chevy Tracker is 155 horsepower V6. So obviously, the Chevy Tracker is going to be using more miles per gallon than the Honda, right off the bat. I know that. What is the average miles driven per day for each car? And so each day I had to take a log, and I know that the Honda, it drives to school, it drives to basketball games, and drives to church, and I run errands. And I know that the Chevy uh, drives my wife to work, and she runs errands as well. And what is the average gallon consumption per day, per year, for each car? and which car is traveling the most miles. <clears throat> and so my data collection, uh, I had to find the miles driven, and I checked that daily. I, I checked it, and I had my wife check her car. And this was taken from the odometer of each car. And gallons consumed, that was something that needed to be found out, and so that was calculated at the pump for each car. Uh, some of the errors that naturally happened with this assignment was obviously human errors, uh, calculation things, you know, this type of stuff is, you know, stuff that can't be avoided, but it happens. Um, all calculations are approximations. <clears throat> Most of the calculations I got gave me a long string of decimals, and so I rounded up or... Uh, you know, left it as it was depending on the situation because I didn't want to overload this project with a bunch of numbers. Uh, the miles per gallon calculations didn't take into account for warming up a vehicle. And this also includes, uh, like, when, I, when we would leave a car running and then run into a post office. Or, you know, I'd be waiting in the car with the car running and my wife would run in to get a movie. These types of things you can't really calculate into fuel consumption with numbers because you're not traveling any amount of distance, you're just sitting there. And the Chevy miles per gallon calculations were not made from a complete fill-up. What I did with the Honda was I filled it up, I drove it until it was back down to empty, and then I had the uh, miles that I drove on my odometer, and then I filled it back up and used the amount of gallons and found my miles per gallon. With the Chevy, my wife didn't drive it as much, so I was unable to get what I would consider a more accurate reading uh, because she didn't drive until her fuel tank was empty. And miles per gallon was an average calculated by the amount of fuel taken to fill the tank versus miles driven since the last fill. Uh, this is the data down here. I used an Excel spreadsheet to find uh, or to organize the data and then as well calculate out uh, what I was looking for. And so the total miles driven for one week is equal to the sum of miles driven for one week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday through Sunday, I just added up all of these and plugged them in here and I got 49.7 miles on an average week for the Honda and for the Chevy, 20 3.2 miles. Now the average miles driven per day, I, I did that by setting a 
is that equal to the total miles divided by the number of days, which makes sense on how to find an average. So on an average, the Honda went about 7.1 uh, miles per day, and the Chevy went 3.31 miles per day. And now the miles per gallon, I did, uh, I took the miles driven total during the whole uh, gathering of data and divided that by the gallons used from the pump. And so that's down here where the Honda went 304.1 miles and used 10.48 gallons. And so it's getting 29.03 miles per gallon. And the Chevy was 7.21 gallons and went 140.5 miles, which was 19.49 uh, miles per gallon. And the estimate of miles and gallons used per year and that's equal to the miles and gallons for the week, which I have right here, and multiply that times the number of weeks in a year, which is 52. And so miles driven per year on an estimate here in Sitka, I would drive 2,584.4 miles, and the Chevy Tracker will drive 1,206.4 miles. And the number of gallons we'll use, the Honda would use 89.02, and the Chevy would use 61.91. How does this compare? According to the Energy Information Administration website, uh, Americans drive on an average of more than 12,000 miles per year. That's a lot. And depending on the vehicle, that could be anywhere from 200 to 1,200 gallons of fuel. Now what I did was, I said, okay, if there's a car out there that is huge, let's say it's a V12 or a V10, uh, it say it's getting around 10, 12 miles a gallon. I chose 10. You get that. If there's a car out there that's getting around 50 miles per gallon, we're getting this guy 1,200 gallons of fuel per year. Uh, now the strong household is approximately driving a total of 3,790.8 miles and consuming 150.93 gallons per year. This is well under the national average, which is good. So what? So my wife and I are using 2.9 gallons of fuel a week for our cars, and we're driving 72.9 miles per week. This is a little much, I think, considering the size of Sitka. Um, could definitely improve on that. What could we do? Uh, we could bike to work. Uh, if we both bought bikes, and the gear for the rain to here in Sitka. If we rode bikes three days a week, that would cut back on half of a week's worth of driving, thus cutting in half our uh, fuel consumption for our vehicles. We can walk more often to our destinations. Do I need to drive to the airport, I mean to the post office, if the post office is a mile and a half away from my house? No. I can just walk there. Uh, I can take the Honda more often. Uh, obviously my car, the Honda, gets better gas mileage than the Chevy Tracker. So if we're going to the grocery store, or we're going to the movie store, or we're just going for a drive, take the Honda, don't take the Chevy Tracker. Uh, drive less on the weekends. You know, just because it's a weekend and there might not be as much to do, not as busy, doesn't mean we need to go for a drive. We could go for a walk. We could hang out at home, play a game. Uh, more questions to ask. If we want to really find out how much fuel we're consuming, we can look at how much fuel are we using to heat our apartment. That would be the next step. And the citation for the website that I looked at. Thank you.